Alright, hey, what's up everybody? GratuitousBeatStruggles.com and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how um, I create a song. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to like record uh, a verse. I'm not going to show you guys recording all my verses because that's just going to take too long. So I'll record one verse and then um, we'll come into FL Studio. I'll show you how I kind of mix like my kicks, my claps, my vocals, and then um, like the mastering of the beat and everything too. Also keep in mind, like as I'm mixing the song and stuff like that, I'm still learning myself. Um, even though I put out three CDs on iTunes and stuff like that, I'm still learning. I'm, I'm not a professional, so um, I guess keep in mind that all of my techniques and stuff are not industry standard stuff, but that doesn't mean that you guys can't learn from it, okay? So again, I have the beat made. Um, I have my lyrics written. Um, I'm going to record my just one verse for you guys, and then we're going to go in and we're going to mix the song just to kind of show you guys what's all involved inside, um, I guess, one of my songs when I when I make it. And then also to mention, I like to record while my vocals are dry, so meaning I don't like to record it with any compression or EQ or anything like that. I usually bring it in and then I'll work on it. Okay, so the song is called I'm Free. So uh, what the song is about is I am free in Jesus. Um, you know, I no longer have to be like a part of the world. Um, so I have to live in the world, but I don't have to be like of the world, you know? So that's what this song is about. I'm free. I'm walking this way, that way, out of line. Back to track, my heart on point with the Father of lights. Can't shake me, Satan's faking, cause Christ was me by my side. Overcome is nice like the summer. Through his word we have overcome, overcome, overcome. Since no more his blood endures. What's that mean? We are pure. Bondage stains, bondage hurts. And in the end it's just us that hurts. Just let go, cry loud his name. He did it for all. His blood forgives sin. The Father, Son, in who is well pleased. What else is there to do but get on your knees? Okay, so now that I recorded my vocals, um, the first thing I would do is I would come in here and I'd listen to each one. I'd choose the ones I'd like and then um, I would just delete the other ones. Now number eight here is, um, that was the one I recorded in the video. So verse one is what we're gonna be working with in this video here. And then the reason why I have so many different vocals on um, like the chorus, the bridge and verse is because as you can see, I have um, a dry and then just like a normal version. So what I did was I recorded my vocals with auto-tune and then I also recorded it dry just so I could either mix them together or at least I have the dry if the auto-tune didn't work out when I recorded it good. So as I said, I like to record it raw, meaning just like as I'm talking to you right now, I don't like to have any um, effects on it, no compression, no EQ. I like to just record it, bring it in here, and then we can uh, start adding our EQ and all that kind of stuff. All right, so what I did was I just went through all the vocals. Uh, I picked the ones I liked out of all the ones you guys saw. Um, as you can see here in like verse three, I took um, three different um, takes, so 15 and 19. So I'm just gonna blend those together to make it one verse. So what I do is um, I have all my uh, sliders down low so um, you know I, I can move things up if I want them louder and therefore it kind of gives me that headroom and I don't have to um, like move everything down, it's already down, then I kind of have more control on what I want to make louder and stuff like that. So now that they're so quiet, if we listen here. All right, so it's pretty quiet. Like that's hard to mix unless I really crank up my volume. So what I would do is um, all my sounds are going into this master two. I just have a, a limiter, but I'm not using it as a limiter, I'm using it as a gain. So this is like the, the ceiling. I'm using it just as a gain. So I'm just gonna boost it up maybe uh, five decibels, so therefore it allows me to mix it better and then I can take that off and then I have my mix. All right, so as we can see here with verse one, this is like the, the beginning, I kind of gave myself time to record. So, you know, we don't need that and we probably don't need this beginning breath. So if we listen here, I'm walking. We don't need that breath, so I'm just gonna take out the breath there. So in this song, um, I don't have many uh, instruments. I only have just this piano. And then I have this little catchy part. And that's it, so um, not really much to EQ here, not really much to do. Um, I will probably take out some low end on the piano, so. Be a little more gentler on the, on the slope there. All right, just gonna do a little uh, high pass here on, on the bass.
Now, sometimes I compress first, sometimes I EQ first. Um, it, you know, it all depends. Lately, I've been finding when I compress first, it allows my vocal to be um, a lot more even, a lot more consistent, but um, we'll, see, we'll see how it sounds. By itself, you know, it's, it's standing out pretty good even without compression. Just compression will just allow it to really cut through just every word, you know, you can hear everything nice. So um, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna EQ, we're gonna take off the EQ just so that we can uh, compress and then I'll make my adjustments to EQ after. So we'll listen again. I'm walking this way, that way, I'm lying. Back and track, my heart on point with the father of lights. Can't shake me, Satan's faking, cause Christ with me by my side. Overcomers, nice like the summer. Through his word we have overcome. All right, so all, all I'm gonna do to the vocal here is I'm just gonna cut a little bit on the low end and then just boost the highs and I think I'm pretty happy with it. I'm walking this way, that way, out of line. Back on track, my heart on point with the father of lights. Can't shake me, Satan's faking, cause Christ with me by my side. Overcomers, nice like the summer. All right, so um, I'm just gonna get on to the kicks here. So what I do is maybe uh, cut just a little bit of the low end. You know, just get a little, little boost. Now, sometimes kicks, like they're a bit boxy in this area. You know, kind of right there. Uh, maybe I'll make it take a little bit of it out. Listen to it with and without. I might boost a little bit of the highs just to make it really cut through nice. Uh, maybe we'll compress it just a little bit just to kind of, again, help it really cut through the mix. You know, so we'll just listen here. All right, so um, if we listen to it without the effects and then I put them on, um, you know, it sounds a little bit bassier without the compression, but with the compression, um, it kind of makes it a little more consistent and cut through a little more steady. Um, there's not really much going on in this, in this track. You know, like I said, there's just like the piano, so the kick. You know, like that kick has kind of got to be catchy with it. You know, I got a clap. Got that, make sure that does a little bit. Got a little hat. Got a little perk taps. All right, so um, to make the mixing job easy, what I would do is um, like, for example, let's say like this hat loop, we'll listen to it. Okay, so all I would do is I would just hold down shift, I'd click, I'd go like hat sub, I'd give it a color, I bring it over here. This just allows the mixing to be really easy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all these tracks, I'm gonna put it all into this hat sub, and then the sub's just gonna go over to the master, so. And how I'm gonna do that is just right click and just route to this track only for all of them. And then this way what I can do is I can um, just kind of high pass all of them together you know, just unnecessary bass. I'll uh, reset that. You know, maybe just do something like this. And uh, I can compress those just to kind of make the, the hats a little more consistent throughout the track. Uh, I may also give that just a little bit of widening as well. Um, we'll see how, how it works. Um, I might not. We'll see once we kind of listen to it in the beat here. So listen to it again. So I'm gonna turn up this kick, just get a little more uh, bassy in there. All right, so just uh, on like the claps here. Um, we'll turn this one off for now. Okay, so on my claps, uh, I think I layered a whole bunch of them. Yeah, so I got, I think five here. So again, what I do is I would just take uh, one of these and go clap sub, give it a color. And uh, okay, there we go. So we can reset the volume and it's gonna bring them all back here. All right, so now that I got all my claps um, in one sub channel, again, it's really easy if I want to EQ them all. Um, you know, I could just kind of maybe take a, a little low end just to kind of maybe clear it up a little bit, uh, put some brightness on it, whatever I want to do there. It just makes it really easy for mixing. So 
So um, if we can hear with the compression here, um, what it's doing is it's kind of grabbing like the tail. It's almost making it sound like it has some reverb on it. Whereas without it, it just kind of sounds like a quicker hit. Listen to it with uh, the compression. Back on. So I like that, you know, instead of me adding my own reverb on, it kind of grabs that little extra long tail and it's making it as if it kind of, you know, has that little reverb kind of on it. I might just uh, compress this, this one clap, which is what this is. All right, I'll move on to like the bridge here. Um, again, you know, I just find this stuff pretty important, kind of taking out the beginning there kind of really cleans it up and then same at the end stuff. Um, if you guys run into this into this problem where um, you have your vocal and everything's kind of turned down, but um, right here, if you listen. So like the vocals are super, super quiet. So what I would do is I would take out a fruity limiter uh, and then I just, I just use it as a, as a gain plugin. So I'll boost it up and then I can bring this down if I want. Therefore, it kind of gives me more flexibility on loudness, you know? Again, um, you know, I'll just take out some low end on like the vocal. Uh, lately, I've been just kind of being a little more gentle on uh, my steeps. All right, so I did some things behind the scenes with my chorus and intro. Um, what I did was I just kind of chopped it up as you see here, you know, um, you guys can check out this video right here. I kind of go over how to chop things up so you can kind of, um, you know, take out some bad things out of the vocals and stuff like that, like the clicks and pops and um, unnecessary breaths and stuff like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this chorus and um, I have sends. So if you guys check out this video on the benefits of sends, um, you guys will learn a lot there if you guys have no idea what they do and the benefits of them. And as we listen, so first of all, I'll turn these off and we'll listen. I'm free, I've never felt this way before. Okay, so it sounds okay. It sounds pretty good by itself. Uh, we're gonna go reset and then reset. And then now we're gonna add some delay and reverb just in the background of the vocal. So. I'm free. Okay, so we're gonna head over to uh, verse two here. Um, you know, I think I'm gonna add some kind of cool delay effects on here or something like that. So I'll include you guys in that. And then what I'm probably gonna do is just finish up the song myself. I'm gonna export it, bring it back in just as a WAV file so it isn't as hard on my computer. And then I can show you guys what I would do to master it. So here we are on verse two. Um, again, I'm just gonna take that out, take out that first breath. Trust your mom or dad, can't a mother forget her child, the answer's yes, just trust God, Christ alone, there's no Okay, so verse 2 here is untouched, um, I haven't done anything with it, you know, here's the EQ, nothing. So I'm just going to take out the compressor, again I'm going to compress first, you know, before I was always EQing first, but lately I've been compressing first, you know, it's just whatever sounds good to you, there's no real rules, it's just, you know, just do it. <laughs> Alright, so i um, just going to listen to the vocal here, and you know, try and compress it just gently, just bring down the loud parts just to kind of keep it more consistent with the quieter words. Satan's faking cause I am free, even the elect shall be deceived, so who to trust your mom or dad? Can a mother forget her child? The answer's yes, just trust God, Christ alone, there's no other way, Jesus Christ, he was 13a, he remains the same as the day to day forever. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold on shift, I'm going to click up here, I'm going to right click, I'm going to go make unique, so therefore uh, this is going to act differently than this one. Um, from here, I'm just going to give it a, just, just a different color, just so that, um, you know, I can tell them apart. This one's going to be like the, the delay one. This one is going to be, uh, you know, just like the regular reverse. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, um, delay send, I'm going to click save. So I'll do that again, right click file, save mixer state as, uh, I'm going to bring it over here to the verse two background. So I'm just going to go V2, V2 delay. So what I'm doing is I'm creating like a send just for uh, the verse two, just so I have more flexibility and I don't touch this one. Okay, so the important thing behind this is that on the delay, the, the dry vocal is off. Okay, so if we listen to um, the verse two here, you're gonna hear that it's gonna sound kind of cool and delayed. 
Satan's faking cause I am free, even the elect shall be deceived, so who You know, so there's only some words that I, I'm gonna want the delay on, otherwise it kinda gets too muddy and just too much, so um, I'm just gonna chop up some of this and we're only gonna pick certain words out, so. Child, the answer's yes. Just trust God, Christ alone, there's no other way. Jesus Christ, he was 13A. You know, just as you can hear, there's just, um, it's just too much, you know? You just want a, a word here or there, and it'll really kind of sound cool. It adds tons to the actual song. On the actual uh, delay vocal, I'm gonna take it out a little more so I don't hear it as well. Satan's fake because I am free. Even the elect shall be deceived, so who to trust your mom or dad? Okay, so as you guys can see here, what I did was um, I just kind of picked out certain words that I liked and kind of words that were kind of, I found were powerful in the verse. All right, so I still got a lot of work to do. Uh, this is just rough, but um, there's just a kind of couple tricks and tips you guys can use. Um, again, like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish up the actual track. i um, going to mix it myself. And then I'm going to export it as a 24-bit wave file. I'll bring it back into FL Studio. Then we're going to work on the actual master just to kind of keep it clean, make it loud. All right, so our next thing to do is to actually export the song. So um, if you guys remember at the very beginning of uh, me mixing the beat here, I, I had like the, uh, the Fruity Limiter as a gain. So as you can see here, I had um, 4.5 decibels of gain. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn that off so that now the mix is down and it has like that you know, like the, the the six decibels, like the three decibels of headroom. Okay, so from right here, there's two ways you can go. You can either master it yourself or you can send it out to get it mastered for you. Now, three things that a mastering engineer um, will ask you, you know, when I got uh, my first CD mastered, this is what a mastering engineer asked me to do. So first of all, um, you're gonna go file, you're gonna go export, we're gonna go wave. Um, we're gonna take this, I'm just gonna put it onto my desktop. Uh, we'll save it, just I'm free, one. Um, and then from here, so what you want to do is if, um, if someone asks you for stems, that is that split mixer track. So what it does, it takes all your mixer tracks and it'll put them all into their own individual wave. But what you want to do is you want to go 24 bit. You do not want dither on. And then another thing the mastering engineer will ask you is many times they'll say, don't add compression because they don't want you to over compress the mix. And they'll also ask for about three decibels of headroom. You know, some say six. So, um, I shoot for six and that way you're safe. So those three things again are, um, the six decibels of headroom. So meaning like, like, like the highest point that your peak hits a lot of them will say, you know, don't have anything on your master channel, just leave it plain, um, 24 bit, and then don't dither. And then, you know, just export. All right, so I'm gonna let this go. Once it's done, I'm gonna bring it back into FL Studio with the 24 bit wave, and then we're gonna master it and, you know, do all the little tweaks to it. All right, so um, your next step would, would be to go like file, new, and you know, we start out like a new, new template. I'm just gonna drag in um, the song here. So click drag, so it's in there. Uh, if we listen. So a few things that I just want to go over here. So I'm going to be probably EQing. I'm going to have a linear phase EQ uh, for on the master. Um, I'll do a little bit of compression. And then this is something I haven't talked about uh, on Beat Struggles before. It's called a clipper. And the reason why is because I tried to kind of avoid talking about a clipper uh, for the fact that um, it could really wreck your dynamics of your track. So what I mean by that is this clipper is pretty much, think of it as like a limiter with a zero attack and a zero release. So it's the fastest you can get. And what a clipper does is it pretty much just cuts off the peaks of your audio. So you could push it pretty hard and you're not really gonna hear much of a difference except here on your meter, um, you're gonna see a lot more RMS and it's going to be a lot louder without you noticing much with it. But as soon as you start getting into like the body of the sound, that's when you're going to start getting the, like the distortion and stuff like that. But the reason why I avoid talking about it is because I'm not an expert in mastering. Like I'm still learning. Um, but this is really how you can get some really extra, extra loudness is through a clipper. You know, like there's hard clipping, there's soft clipping. So you can kind of be a little more gentle. You can just be really aggressive with it. So those are some things I'm going to be doing here. Mastering is the EQ, the compressor. Uh, I'm going to clip a little bit just to get a little extra loudness out of it, a little more punch out of the kicks and stuff. And then um, I'm going to be using like a limiter. So a limiter is always last. A meter is very important when you're um, mastering, you know, so you can see like your RMS, your peaks, um, if you're crushing it too hard, all that kind of stuff. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to boost it up just a little bit because as we can see, um, it, it, it's just like not as loud as it could be. 
So I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna boost up a little bit. So I'm not using it as a limiter, I'm using it as a gain. I'm walking this way, that way, out of line. Back on track, my heart on point with the father of lights. Can't shake it. a little bit louder. Okay, we've some EQ here. Word we have overcome, overcome, overcome. Since no more his blood endures. What's that mean? We are pure. Bondage stains, bondage hurts. And in the end, it's just us that hurts. Just let go, cry loud his name. He did it for all. His blood forgives sin. The father, son, in who is well pleased. What else is there to do but get on your knees? We are free in Christ alone. Satan's faking cause I am free Even the elect shall be deceived So who to trust, your mom or dad? Can a mother forget her child? The answer's yes, just trust God I'm gonna get the Pro DS here. I'm gonna use it as just like an all round. So it's gonna kind of take down the highs and make it a little more gentler on the ears. I'm just gonna do it really gently too. Walking this way, that way, out of line. Back on track, my heart on point with the father of lights. Can't shake me, Satan's faking, cause Christ with me by my side. Overcome is nice like the summer. Through his word we have overcome, overcome, overcome. Okay, so now compression is probably uh, the trickiest part of mixing, mastering, all the above. Uh, compression is definitely something that is really tricky. So I found like two to one is just too much for me. Um, I just found that it was taking like the life out of like my, my mix. Um, you know, all that kind of stuff. So um, I'll usually have like a low ratio, a higher attack, and um, you know, maybe a little little longer release. And then for my threshold, you know, um, 14 is probably around where I'd go. Every song is a little different. Um, I just use it just to kind of uh, bring down the loud parts and kind of keep it a little more even in my track, which is why they call compression to glue uh, the, like the mix together. So uh, we'll listen to it with it off and then I'll bring it in and we'll try and do something with compression. Walk it this way, that way, out of line Back on track, my heart on point with the father of lights Can't shake me, Satan's faking, cause Christ with me by my side Overcome is nice like the summer Through his word we have overcome, overcome, overcome Since no more his blood endures, what's that mean? We are pure, bondage stains, bondage hurts And in the end it's just us that hurts Just let go, cry loud his name He did it for all, his blood forgives sin The father, son, in who is well pleased What else is there to do but get on your knees? Okay, so now I'm just gonna get my clipper out here. Um, I am gonna go a little more aggressive. I'm maybe gonna cut like maybe one or two um, decibels of my peaks. Um, once you get into the body, you're gonna really start hearing your like distortion, but we just listen here. Walking this way, that way, out of line. Back on track, my heart on point with the father of lights. Can't shake me, Satan's faking, cause Christ with me by my side. Overcome is nice like the summer. Through his word we have overcome, overcome, overcome. Since no more his blood endures, what's that mean? We are pure, bondage stains, bondage hurts. And in the end, it's just us that hurts. Just let go, cry loud his name. He did it for all, his blood forgives sin. The father, son, in who is well pleased, what else is there to do? Your pains come, but his hands always there. It's not fun. On the narrow we shall stand. We'll stand strong for the name of Jesus. Why? Why? Cause he feels. People saw a good game. Talk about this and that. Most for the pride, but time will tell when there's. Okay, so uh, just, just listen again here. Day to day, forever. Your pains come, but his hands always there. It's not fun. On the narrow we shall stand, we'll stand strong For the name of Jesus Why? Why? Cause he feels People saw a good game, talk about this and that Most for the pride but Okay, so once you're happy with it, once you feel that you've got loud enough, uh, you know, you check your RMS around maybe 10 Maybe if you want to go louder, maybe a little lower Up to you, you know, you can do your research on where should your RMS be in mastering The loudness wars, all that kind of stuff And then you can kind of play with it Um so now uh, the next step is to dither. So you're gonna go file, you're gonna go export. Um, you wanna export it as a wave 16 bit. So I'm gonna go free and then official or something like that. And then from here, um, you're gonna see on here, um, it gives you the option to dither. But since we're still in 24 bit, you're gonna go 16 because in order to play on like a CD, you want 16 bit and then dither. 
and then that's it. And then you'd be good to go. But um, with the Pro L, um, there's really no difference. Um, you have a dither on here, which is what I'm going to be using. Um, so if we check it out again, I have an intersample peak meter, which allows me to see once it goes to MP3, if uh, there's going to be like distortion or anything like that. Um, I don't know. I've read sometimes it's like sometimes it's uh, accurate, and then sometimes people say that it's not anything to to tell by. But we'll check it out. We'll see if I'm uh, pe if I'm peaking. I'm free. All right, so there we go. And then to get around that, you got to use some oversampling, and then therefore, um, you know, you you're gonna be safe, I guess, in the MP3 world. So I'm gonna go four, and then I think that should be good. Okay, so I'm gonna go uh, 16 bits. Um, I'm gonna export this. So wave. Um, I'll go to that free official again. Free official. All right, so just going over it. So I have wave 16 bit, and I'm not dithering, and that's it. So I'm gonna get start, and then uh, I'll talk to you guys after this is done. Okay, so here is the uh, the two versions. So this one is uh, the mixed version. This one's gonna be the mastered. So we'll check them out. I'm free. I've never felt this way before. I'm free. We'll let it go for maybe 15 seconds each. I'm free because he saved me. I'm free as long as we open it. I'm walking this way, that way, out of line. Back and track, my heart on point with the father of lights. Can't shake. I'm free. I've never felt this way before. I'm free. No longer with the thoughts no more. I'm free because he saved me. I'm free. As long as we open it. I'm walking this way, that way, out of line. Back on track, my heart on point with the father of lights. Can't shake me. So as we can hear, obviously, like the mastered version is louder. Um, it's a little bit more powerful just because, maybe just because it's louder. Um, also, uh, the compression glued it together a little bit. So the kick and like the vocals and stuff, they're all kind of um, sitting nice together. And that's it. That's how I make a song. So um, like I said, you know, I'm no professional, but I have come a long way. I've learned a lot. Um, that clipper is definitely... Um, something for you guys to check into if you've never heard of that that's like the mastering little secret you know like if you want to pursue music like man i'm gonna tell you right now there's there's lots of reading it's like a whole different language uh just audio in general like mixing mastering but i'm gratuitous this is beatstruggles.com uh you know i'm a rapper i guess if you want to call me that i don't know i just what i do is i write music i make a beat i write the lyrics to teach about jesus and that's my song so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys learned a lot um, if you guys want to stay up to date with me here at Beat Struggles, you guys can sign up to the Beat Struggles newsletter. If you guys want to check out the CDs that I've released on iTunes, you guys can check out the link in the description. Uh, you guys can also click here and you guys can listen to like the playlist. If you guys have any questions on this stuff, uh, feel free to ask. Um, if you guys need a different kind of video, you know, I'll see what I can do. You know, all the stuff I know, you know, I haven't just got here overnight. Like I've been studying, I've been reading, I've been practicing trial and error for like for a couple of years. You know what I mean? Just I just I just got determination to. Um, hopefully one day uh, have a career in music. So if you guys would like a free download to this song, um, I'll leave that link in the description. It'll go to SoundCloud, then you can download it off of SoundCloud. Um, if you can't figure it out, you can always email me at gratuitous at beatstruggles.com. Again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll talk to you guys later. I'm free, I've never felt this way before. I'm free, no longer with the thoughts no more. I'm free, cause he saved me. I'm free as long as we open it. I'm walking this way, that way, out of line. Back on track, my heart on point with the Father of Lights. Can't shake me, Satan's faking, cause Christ with me by my side. Overcome is nice like the summer. Through his word, we have overcome, overcome, overcome. Since no more his blood endures. What's that mean? We are pure. Bondage stains, bondage hurts. And in the end, it's just us that hurts. Just let go, cry loud his name. He did it for all. His blood forgives sin. The Father. Son, in who we saw, please. What else is there to do but get on your knees? Be a free in Christ alone. Go ahead and